So very quickly, an email list is when you are capturing names, capturing emails, and you want to build and maintain and manage an email list because you want to announce things beyond just your post. You want to send newsletters and things like that. So very uh, directly, you've got these four steps. You need to set up a list. I use MailChimp. You can use many others like um, AWeber, um, Constant Contact, iContact. Then you install a plugin. I use MailChimp for WordPress. Over 200,000 people love this plugin. I use this plugin. Then you need to set up the plugin, which is very direct, and then you need to install that on a widget. And just a reminder is the tool we're going to use to get something like this where people enter their name, enter their email, and click sign up. It will then upload that um, link to your list in MailChimp. So let's just dive in and show you exactly how we're going to go about this. So first and foremost, what's the first step? The first step is set up a list on MailChimp. So just go to www.mailchimp.com. You can set up a free site or you can set up a very affordable pricing. I think pricing starts at $5 a month depending on the size of your list. But you can actually sign up for free. Go do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. But you follow up the sign up steps, which should be very straightforward. Once you're signed up, you'll arrive at a screen like this. So the first step I offer you is to set up your list. So when you arrive at the dashboard, you're going to have to go to lists or click the button that appears that says set up list. You'll come to this, now you can see I've got a good handful of lists. I've been doing this a little while. On the right hand side, you literally click create list, create list, and you get these steps. Fill this out with information that is relevant to you. Once you're done with this, and there are notifications similar to publicizing to Facebook. Your people, you will get notifications if people join you daily, one by one, um, or, or one at a time as people unsubscribe. So I'll let you make up all of those decisions, but boom, once you're done with this, you should be set up. That's all it takes to build a list in MailChimp. Super easy. What's the next step? Install a plugin. You will scroll down in your dashboard to plugins. You will click add new. You will search for MailChimp for WordPress. And the one you are looking for is the one that has 200,000 plus active installs. It's the one by the created group called Iberacode. And you're just going to click install now. Let's activate the plugin. Okay, so now you should have this thing down here called in your dashboard on the left hand side, MailChimp for WordPress. Let's return to our steps. Install plugin, MailChimp for WordPress. Boom, step two is done. Now let's set up the plugin. So let's go to MailChimp for WordPress and see what it wants from us. So it's going to ask for a MailChimp API code. Aren't you glad we're doing a video of this together? Because if you fit came here on your own, you'd be like, oh my God, I'm going to freak out, don't know what to do. So just simply go back to MailChimp. Super easy. Log in. Hit your drop down menu. Once you log in, go to account. Go to Extras and API Keys. Scroll down and you have this thing that says Your API Keys. If you do not have one, simply click Create a Key. And it will generate another key for you. Uh, if you'd like, you can change the label. That's fine. I'm going to disable this so it doesn't get confused. But all you have to do is log into your MailChimp, go under, boom, account. And when you get to account, drop down extras. When you get down to extras, click API keys and then highlight your API key, copy it, and come back to your back office in 
uh, in WordPress in your dashboard and paste that in to its spot. Boom. Click Save Changes. And this will turn into Connected. If you get stuck, reach out to us. We can help you with that. And then it'll simply ask you to, it'll list any lists you've created. As you can see, I have multiple lists. But it'll have those lists available. You are actually all set up and ready to go. So let's do this. Boom. Set up list in MailChimp, install plugin for MailChimp, and set up plugin. The last thing we have set up to do is to install uh, the, the plugin in the sidebar. So at this point, go under your appearance settings, go down to widgets, and as you have widgets, you should have a whole collection of available widgets here for you. Scroll down and select MailChimp Signup or MailChimp Signup Form. Displays your MailChimp WordPress Signup Form. Let's click that. So you're going to drag it to where you want it. You're going to retitle your title. You're going to click Save. And once you refresh your page, you will see join our newsletter. Now, if someone types in their email and they click sign up, they will now be added to your email list and you are all set to go. Again, I know this has been fast, but I've shown you that it's very simple to both notify people about posts on your website as well as building and managing email list. You might have questions along the way, but I have shown you the general principles. So again, if you get completely stuck or you think you've exploded your website and it's absolutely destroyed, please email us. Don't freak out. Email us and let us know where you're at and what's going on. But this is completely approachable. So hopefully we've shown you how to do that. Email us with any questions. We thank you so much for your business, and we look forward to talking with you guys next week.